It's all very well going after that metal-faced Mechon. But shouldn't we have some kind of plan? How about checking out Colony 6? Colony 6, okay. Colony 6. The only other Homs colony left. Colony 6 is on the way to Sword Valley, where there's supposed to be a Mechon base. I'm guessing Sword Valley is like the big sword bridge that connects the two titans. If that's where they came from, maybe the people in Colony 6 saw something. Good point. They might even know something about that metal face mech on. So, we go past the Magmel Ruins and up through Tefra Cave. Then we should arrive at the Bionis Knee. Okay. Yeah. And if we can get to the Knee, it ain't far to Colony 6, right? Sounds like a plan. Let's head to Colony 6. Okay, so we're gonna climb the Bionis. Welcome back, everyone. It is a sad, sad day. But at least we can make ether gems. I am still bummed about what just happened with Fiora. I guess that explains why uh, I've never heard of Fiora before. Like, I've never, I never saw her or heard her name or anything. Uh, like Ryan, I've heard people talking about, but never Fiora. And, uh, that explains a lot now. But, on happier news, uh, congratulations to all you Xenoblade Chronicles fans. You've got two more characters in Smash now. Yeah, that was just announced like an hour before I recorded this. Alright, let's go get some ether gems. Yeah, no need to pay. You can never charge friends of the great hero Dunban. Use it as much as you like. Oh, nice. How to create, select the materials. Only ether crystals of the same rank can be put into the furnace at the same time. The act of refining ether crystals is called crafting. And when the strength of a certain quality exceeds 100, an ether gem with that quality will be formed. Put crystals with matching qualities into the furnace so that the total strength of the quality you are aiming for exceeds 100. When the strength of a quality exceeds 100, or you have already put in 8 crystals, you cannot add any more. Press A to confirm. Crafting is carried out by two party members, the shooter and the engineer. Once selected, the abilities of each party member will be shown. Oh my god. So this is like a little mini game. The pair's affinity will determine how many times they can craft. Okay. The shooter will shoot several times during crafting. Each time you craft, the abilities of your party members will kick in, and the result will depend on the abilities of the two party members. So, Shulk's shooter ability. He is more likely to enter a fever state while crafting, while Ryan crafting with a strong flame will increase the quality. The engineer's ability changes the balance of the flame strength. So a strong flame greatly increases. Okay. Shulk's engineer ability is average, average, good. And then, so as long as I have a strong flame, Ryan is good. 
qualities which exceed a strength of 100% during crafting will become ether. Qualities that do not exceed become cylinders. One quality for each time you have filled the cylinder gauge. Cylinders can be used again in gem crafting, just like crystals. Okay. So we can make cylinders or use these cylinders here. First attack plus muscle up. What does this do? Increases physical defense. Okay. Reduces damage reduced from terrain. And this increases the damage dealt by the first attack. So those are the, all the... Oh wait, these are also crystals too. Armu crystals and bunny. Okay, great. Then what I want to get is agility up for sure. So I want to combine these small bun of crystals. Recommended. Okay. And uh, get something that doesn't take me all the way. Take that one. And then I think what we want is to get it as close to 100 as possible without exceeding it because then I would just be wasting a gem. Probably doesn't matter that much, but yeah. So we got exactly 100. Let's go ahead and make Shulk and Ryan. I'm all over I got that. it. Alrighty. There we go. Awesome. To you. Craft to some me. agility up. Alrighty. There we go. Alright. To you. To me. Alright. Alrighty. There we go. Awesome. To you. To me. Alright. To you. There we go. Alright. Alrighty. There we go. Woo. I know I can speed it up, but I was just so entranced in watching that. Okay, and then we can convert strength up or ether up. Increases ether. Okay, and claim the cylinder so we could use it for later. And we get one agility up gem. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna do some crafting off screen for a bit. And uh, I'll be back when I'm done. All right, I kind of want to see what happens if I have both agility and strength at 100. I think that might give me two gems. So I'm all I got to see. To you. Oh. Finished. Strength up one and agility up. Yeah, okay. So that's pretty cool. So it's actually worth trying to uh, combine things if I can. Like, for example, I could probably... Well, I can't do these because... I don't have anything else to boost them past 100. I mean, I could... Like, try using them and then hope that they get boosted through a regular process, but probably not. Okay. I've made enough gems for now. I want to keep those for later. Let's go ahead and equip them. So, Shulk, you're going to be getting a lot of agility up. And probably another one here. And then I'll give you a strength up. Uh, let's see. Do I want to give you anything else? Middle armor, probably not that. Okay, we'll go with that. And then you, you can have that HP up. I think muscle up is good for him. So we'll give him that for now. And then once they get more items and slots, then I can give them better gems. Oh yes, and before I forget, I want to head to the Collectopedia and see if we have these, we could add them in. So we definitely want to try to complete them if we can. For example, the flower. Ah, because it gives us those kind of things. Okay. 
Yeah, I need one more there. Okay, so around Colony 9, there's a lot of stuff I can get. Okay, cool. Let me grab this quest here. And then we'll head off towards Colony 6. Want friends defeat Walsai Ginri in Magma Ruins. Other day, almost get eaten by Ginri and smaller creatures. Thought was my dying day. Sure. Yeah, we're heading that way anyway. And apparently... Um, the reason why I was getting so much good unique stuff was probably because of the fact that I keep uh, killing unique monsters. Got a shop here. Okay, let's stock up on a few things. I think these are just weapons. Yeah. Pretty good, though. Vegas Garter is just better in every way. Pair. Oh. Gives me defense. The only difference is it doesn't have um it doesn't have a slot, so I don't get aggro up. But I'll be honest, I don't think Shulk is going to be stealing aggro as much as Yoro would have. Yeah, I think I don't wanna go too crazy. Should I? Probably not. We're gonna be killing a lot of things and they're gonna drop a lot of cool stuff. Uh, but giving Shulk some pants would be nice. He gets another slot. Yeah, let's give him some pants. Oh, wait. The skills I can buy. Further levels. So maybe I should be buying these. So let's buy the light heal and the topple one. So I think it's wild down. Okay. So you need to wear these pants so I can give you some... And we'll equip that if we need to. Give you another strength up, probably. Yeah. And I got you a new weapon. The Soldier Pike. Which actually has a slot for you, so that's cool. Give you that. I believe that's the one I bought. No, I bought the Aegis Garter. But I actually had a better weapon for him anyway. Okay. Let's start heading out. I kind of want to walk there because I want to grab... Uh, ingredients, if I can. Because, uh, there's something below that I can get. Okay, there is fall damage. And these level 3 guys, they're not hard enough for me to care that I'm overleveled. Let's just kill them quick so I can get this quest done. Okay. So now I can leave. I believe I could just go to the map. I could warp straight to... Tefra cave, but there was that bunny on the way to the cave, 
that kept killing me in the the first episode. So I want to take that guy out before we head in deeper. And I think that guy was um, a quest as well. But yeah, congratulations on having Pyra and Mithra in Smash. If I really, really enjoy this game, and so far it's looking like I will, I will probably have to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 eventually as well. So, that's something to look forward to. Wow, I, I can't believe that they killed off Fiora so fast. I'm so mad. We can't lose. Leave it to Ryan. I was actually planning to use her the most. Okay, let's break. Let's heal. I would like it if you could grab aggro, but I understand if you can't. And I fell. Please survive at, while I run back. Don't give up. I'm gonna heal you as soon as I get back. Okay. There we go. We were kind of over leveled for this one. Because I forgot to change the level. But that's fine. We got night goggles and bounce suit. Can you please stop giving me knives? I'm trying to get over it. I don't know what night vision does. Increases accuracy at night. Oh, that's actually going to be really helpful. Yeah, that's actually really helpful because we need all the accuracy we can get. And apparently the, your accuracy is not completely based on your agility, it's based on the difference in level uh, between you and the enemy monster and some kind of percentage or whatever. So at low levels, like the difference is, is huge because I'm like 50% lower level than they are. So my accuracy is taking a much bigger hit than if we were both like level 15. All right, we got a heart to heart here. Every time we come here, it brings back memories. Same for you, right? Yep, we've been through a lot together, you and me. Oh yeah, you remember that time? You know, that one time. When Dunban told us off? Hold on a minute, Shulk. Be honest now, you're remembering it wrong. I am. Well, not wrong exactly. But that's not the important part, man. Think harder. What do you mean? You remember why he got angry with us, right? Of course I do. You and me. We made Fiora cry. Exactly. And wait, why was she crying again? Ryan, how could you have forgotten already? You're the one who was reminding me. Anyway, if I think back, weren't we having a massive argument? Oh yeah, that was it. Not often we fight that bad. It's rare, all right. In fact, we could count the number of times we fought on one finger. It kind of makes me smile, though. If it weren't for that fight, I don't think we'd be mates. I was thinking the same thing. It's amazing how we think alike sometimes. I'm glad we're friends. Me too, Shulk. Friends to the end, that's us. 
Well, even without Fiora, at least, at least we have Rhine. I'll get over it eventually. Yeah. So since this is an old area, unless there's a unique monster, I'm not going to bother lowering my levels. Uh, actually, I might even just cut past this until I find something interesting to fight. Like this guy right here. Level 10 Cellar Bugworm. We're going to go down to level 8 here. Uh, the reason why I don't want to go any lower is because he is surrounded by like four mini caterpillars. So I imagine those things are going to be quite ferocious. Let's do this! This one's mine! Let's go ahead and try to take this guy out. Okay, let him get aggro. Buster. Heal him up. And go for the break. And we are going to die. I probably should have lured him instead of fighting him right in the middle. Yeah, this, this was a mistake. Such a mistake. I am kiting them though. Well, for a bit. All right. So this time I'm gonna lure him close. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I want to try to lure this thing. Yeah. Let's lure the small ones. And kill them off one at a time before I deal with the big one. I kind of want to move the break to the other side because it's so far away. Oh, steady greaves. Okay, let me fix his arts. Level up Monado arts. Go to the arts menu, change that character to Shulk. Okay. And new arts manuals have allowed you to lane a new level. Great. Uh, so what I wanted to do was move the stream edge over here. So it's easier for me to... Actually, I kind of want to move it there. So it's easy to access from the middle. And then... If I go in here, I can upgrade Monado Arts as well. Cool. Enchant. Adds damage too. Okay, so that's worth getting. Guard shift. Use weapon to block attacks. Sure. Let's upgrade that. And your war swing because I keep hearing you use it. Okay, let me see if I can just lure the big guy. Go in, Ryan. Get him. Please draw aggro. Enchant. There we go. Break him. I'll heal you. Enchant. Oh my god, I think this thing's way too strong. We don't have the damage to kill him. I think if we had Fiora... Oh, 
Yeah, if we have Fiora, maybe. Alright, I decided to make my way over here. Um, I could keep fighting that thing and raising my levels closer and closer, but at some point I do want to draw the line in how many attempts I'm gonna give some of these guys, because otherwise we w actually will be here the entire year. And I do want to progress with the story a bit because the story is, so far, has captivated me a little bit, considering what just happened. Oh, you're just in time. I think my partner went to check out the cylinder hanger. I'm worried he's not back yet. That doesn't sound good. Ah, didn't you see strange machines there when the Mechon attacked? I'm really worried. Can you take a look for me? Sure, man. Although, if things turn nasty, you can always jump into the lake. That's what we did. That's also pretty scary. Ryan, how about it? Won't you help out a defense force, buddy? Yeah, let's help him out. And we get some leather armor. Hopefully, they will be upgrades. Yeah, we can handle it. There are a lot of people here. This door, it was closed when we came past before, but it's open now. True. Maybe it was programmed to open up in case of mech on emergency. The way to the bionic knee is just ahead. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh, is this the door to the bionic knee? I guess it is. Okay. Well, the guy's friend is up here, right? So let's go kill these things as quickly as I can before the big guy comes back. Yeah, I, I forgot that he's patrolling. Okay. We're good. I was also advised... Um, I might not want to take all of these treasure chests because there is an inventory limit. But for now, I think it's okay. I don't think we're gonna reach the limit yet. Okay, so I want to break him as soon as I can because it's likely that his topple is off cooldown. But I guess not. Let me help you. Did this thing heal up? I swear he had less HP earlier. I'm really really missing Fiora right now. What's up, dude? Oh, hi. Will you listen to what I have to say? The Defense Force's mission is never-ending. Gathering supplies for Colony 9 is an important job, but we just can't get hold of the things we need. Can you help us get the kneecap rocks we need to make repairs? Sure. Great, thanks for this. I've got other stuff for you when you have time. And honestly, a lot of these are just like a thousand currency, so not really that necessary. An ether lamp. Don't traders use these things as guideposts? Yeah. We can follow them to the Bionis Knee. Okay. But if armed traders need guideposts, it must be pretty dangerous in here. Let's keep our wits about us. Definitely. Ugh. All right. Yeah, my Shulk isn't doing enough damage. Maybe that's too much agility. Let's give him another strength up. And maybe that'll help.
Okay. Luckily, the mini-map tells us which way we should go. So I don't have to get lost. Everyone, let's go! Let me at him. We can definitely do this! That was too easy. Let's not lose our heads though. Yeah, pretty easy. Looks like there's a mining symbol on my mini-map. I might be able to mine. Harvest very pure ether crystals. When you are exhaust when you have exhausted the supply, try returning later. Oh, it's not really mining. I'm just gathering. Okay. And the heart to heart is down here. Cannot view yet. Okay, we can fight the big thing. Level ten. Everyone, let's go. Let me at him. I mean, this thing might kill me, honestly, with the way things have gone so far. Okay, use your wall down. Good job. Okay, I think we can we can kill this guy. Yeah, Ryan is tanking way better against this guy. But he's also not a unique. Ryan. Is he going to be doing this the entire game? Just alley-ooping? Oh, these things react to sound. Kill him. Yeah, topple him. It's over. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Right, let's do this. Let me out. I'm really feeling it. Yeah, sure. Get stuck in. Yeah. I'm going to assume Man, what a bunch that I'll never have a character that can just do, like, break, topple, daze, everything. Because that, that feels like it defeats the purpose of having to chain your attacks and stuff. But it would be nice. What the? What's going on here? Look at the emblem. They're traders from Colony 6. No wonder it's been so long since the last delivery. Ryan, their injuries... They've been getting killed in here? They weren't made by no Mechon. It was probably the monsters that live here. Man, that's grim. I don't want to go like this. Not even killed by Mechon, just some monsters in a cave. They probably had families. Children. Maybe. It wouldn't surprise me. But why'd you say that? Oh, no reason. You all right there? Ryan, shouldn't we return them to the Bionis? Huh? Oh, right. Yeah, we should give them, like, a proper burial. What's born from the Bionis is returned to the Bionis. That's the way of the Homs. That's nice. <sighs> that was way harder than I thought it'd be. I'm just about ready to collapse. Let's take a rest. If the monsters in here killed all these traders... We need to be at our best. I'm wide awake, so I'll take first watch. Thanks, man. The nap will do me good. I do like how they're talking about taking watches and stuff. Gives it a little more... immersion. Shulk, 
My turn. Awake already? Didn't sleep a wink. Oh, I still feel like I just did one of Vanguard's drills. <laughs> Man. Hey. Why do you think the mech on attack? This sucks. Are we just food to them? Or what? Did we do something wrong? Sort of reminds me of the battle between the Bionis and the Maconis. I wonder if it's anything to do with that. Well, it's hard to believe that living things are just a source of energy for machines. There has to be another reason. Mechon killed Fiora. Yeah. You know what? I'll never forgive them. I don't care what their reason is. Hmm. When it happened, the Monado showed me that Fiora was in danger. But I couldn't save her. It's not your fault. Just because the Monado showed you some future, that don't mean you could do anything about it. You did great. You fought them off. I couldn't have done that. <sighs> you know, I've been thinking about it. Why you can use the Monado, I mean. Dixon told me. You're a survivor from the Monado expedition team that went out 14 years ago. There was a blizzard or something, and your mum and dad died. And then Dixon found you and brought you back. That sounds right. I was pretty young, so I don't really remember anything. Is that why you do it? Why you're always helping Dixon with his research and trying to figure out the Monado? Maybe. Part of me does see it as something to remind me of my mum and dad. But mainly, if it really is the sword that the Bionis used to kill the Mechonis, like in the legend, I want to work out its secret. That's the real reason. I've got it. You were chosen by the Monado. What? Chosen? Don't you see? Not even Dunban can handle it. It ain't chance that you can and he can't. <laughs> I'll take the next watch. You get some rest. Okay, I'll try. Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. Ah. It is every man's desire to change the future. Is that not so? Even if everything has been predestined, will you not oppose it? I... The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Shulk! Uh, Shulk! Uh, uh, Ryan! Oh god. Rude awakening. I see. Enchant. Go crazy. I'm gonna break them all. Do your war swing. Okay. Let's uh, buster. Try to hit all of them. There we go. I want to use auto attacks. Go on. Nope. 
Yeah, let's heal up a bit. Break them all. I'll pick you up. I got you, man. We're gonna get through this together. I'm not gonna lose you as well. Oh my god. Good job. Nice hit. Heal myself. Okay. These ones are uh, tough. I missed. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, focus on guarding. I need you to go crazy. I need you to heal. Good. Nice, nice, nice. One more. Get him down. Enchant. Oh. I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm glad there wasn't like a big boss one. Don't worry about it. It looked like you were having a nightmare. Really? The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Was I dreaming? What's with you? We'd better get a move on. Yeah, we probably don't want to stay in these caves much longer. Oh, there is going to be a big one. It wasn't a dream. Was it a vision? What should I do? I could tell Ryan. But I don't know. Why wouldn't why wouldn't we tell him? All right, well, we have started seeing some um, visions with the Monado and someone telling us to look for a true Monado. So I guess that means uh, what we have isn't exactly like a complete weapon yet or maybe it's like um, a fake version of the Monado and eventually we will try to upgrade it in a way but um a lot of questions for sure attack plus two okay I'm actually going to equip that on Shulk Where's the... Yeah, attack plus two. Increases a weapon's maximum damage by 12%. Okay. Yeah, we'll have that. And next time, we will continue on inside of Tefra Cave. Hopefully, whatever we saw happen to Ryan does not happen. Because I'm not ready to lose another... Another person. So, Shulk, please do your best. But until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.